Well, today is a difficult video. These are the best watches under $300. This is really hard because there are a lot of watches that are under $300, but not a lot of them are all that great. I picked out some of the best watches that you can get under $300. Most of these are from major brands. Some of these are from micro brands as well. And as I was doing this list, I realized I could come up with a second list. So I will be doing a part two to this video. So let's get right into it and start with my number one pick. My number one pick was a watch that immediately came to mind when I thought about watches that cost under $300 that are awesome. This is the Timex Marlin Jet. One of the best designs that Timex has come out with in a very long time, and they have been on fire making some incredible watches, but the Marlin Jet, a watch that's inspired by the Jet Error, this is a very special watch. It's an automatic, it's powered by a pedestrian Miyota movement. It's an 8000 series that hacks and hand winds. It gets a 24 hour sub dial, which is actually good for the aesthetic, but it's the dial and the crystal on this watch. You get a very boxed, domed crystal, one of the biggest domes that I have seen on an acrylic crystal. It's pretty awesome. And you have a bowl shaped dial. There's also a chapter ring for lack of a better term, but it's actually part of the dial. It's where Marlin is actually written on the dial. It looks awesome. These are really nicely sized. They are just very creative, very good looking watches, very original watches, and they're really well made from Timex for under $300. You really cannot go wrong with this watch. It's a strap monster and it's extremely original. When you're talking about the best watches under $300, if Citizen don't come up, you're doing something wrong. Citizen makes some of the best affordable watches that money can buy. And of course, I'm going to mention the Siosa here. The Siosa came out just a few years ago and immediately people started comparing them to an affordable Rolex day date. They come in a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different styles. They even introduced a small seconds version with a textured dial. Those are a little bit over $300. The standard versions with the colorful dials, those are all around $300. You can get them directly from the Citizen website for that price. These are powered by a Citizen Miyota 8 Series movement, extremely reliable, actually pretty thin. You're getting 100 meters of water resistance, a sapphire crystal, and really good looks. I do also want to mention the EcoDrive version of the ProMaster Dive. These are all around $300 on the Citizen website, and they are phenomenal. There's a bunch of different dials available for these as well. Some of them come with a mineral crystals, others do come with sapphire crystals. Those are just slightly over $300, but you're getting tons of functionality. An ISO certified dive watch for under $300 or just about $300, you really cannot go wrong. And plus they are an iconic dive watch, very good looking and really, really well made. One of the funkier watches on this list, somewhere in line with that Marlin Jet, could be a little bit funkier. It's the Computron from Bulova. These are an iconic watch that were released in the 1970s. They are a driver's watch. They're digital. They come on bracelets for under $300. Now you really need to like the look of the Computron. It's not everybody's taste, but the fact is you will not find a more interesting watch, a conversation starter under $300 than the Computron. On the flip side, another watch from Bulova, one of my favorite affordable watches from Bulova, currently under $300 on their website. It is the classic tank from Bulova. These get a hobnail pattern on their dial, specifically the gray dial. It is beautiful. You get these rose gold tone hands and indices. You have that textured dial. It's a really nice size, a stainless steel case, but you get those gold accents. These are under $300 and they are extremely classy looking. And when you think about Bulova's history of making beautiful tank watches, this is just yet another beautiful tank watch that's really affordable. And I highly recommend this watch to anyone who's getting into watches or is a seasoned collector who just wants a really good looking everyday watch. These are phenomenal. The next watch on this list is a titanium watch. It gets 200 meters of water resistance. It gets a sapphire crystal. It's automatic, powered by a Seiko NH35, and they cost under $300. I'm talking about Boulder 
and the Venture. These are field watches that are extremely capable. Not every field watch gets 200 meters of water resistance and costs under $200 with an automatic movement, especially when you consider it's made out of titanium as well. For a little bit more, you can get a bracelet, but I highly recommend getting these on a nylon strap. They are great everyday watches, sapphire crystal, titanium and automatic, 200 meters of water resistance. You could pretty much do anything with these watches. They're good looking and also they get great loom at that price, which is kind of crazy considering they are under $300. Next is a watch that I own. I actually own a few of the watches on this list. This is one that I currently own. It is a Orient. It's the Orient Mako with a lavender dial. I actually own the one with a peach dial. It's like a coppery peach dial. I love the lavender dial. It's actually the one I wanted. I ordered that one and then they sent me the wrong one. This is the watch that has an error on its dial where there is an indice that is slightly off center. It's really not that big of a deal, but I think a lot of people went crazy and didn't want to buy it because of that. And because of that, they cost well under $300. I actually bought one, never made a video about it. I really love the watch. I wear it pretty often. I think they are very well made. These get steel bezels. I really love both dials. I think they're both great, but the lavender is the one that I really would have chosen. The peach is also very nice, but go with the lavender. You will not be disappointed. They're beautiful. The next is a watch brand, Islander Watches. I've mentioned them many times in a lot of the videos that I do about affordable watches. Mark over at Long Island Watches started his own brand, Islander Watches. He sees a lot of watches, he sells a lot of watches, and he decided to come out with his own brand, make something very affordable, but really well made. All of his watches get screwed links, sapphire crystals, automatic movements. Of course, he makes quartz movements as well, but I'm talking about his automatic line of watches they basically cost around $300. I own one of his watches powered by an 8 Series Miyota Movement. It's a great watch that's really well made, and it comes from a great guy and a great brand, Mark, over at Long Island Watches and Islander Watches. You really can't go wrong. Customer service is top-notch because basically you're dealing with Mark. I highly recommend Islander to anyone who's getting into collecting or, again, someone who's a seasoned collector like myself. I own an Islander, and I love it. I think it's a great watch, and I wear it very often. The next watch on this list is another watch that you cannot make a list of best watches under $300 without including. It is the Tissot PRX in quartz. Yes, it is a quartz watch, but these watches are very high quality and you can get them on the gray market under $300. I think everyone should experience a Tissot PRX. They make really nice versions with gold and they make versions that are made out of carbon fiber, a watch that I recently featured here on my channel. But the standard version in quartz in 35 millimeters or 40 millimeters is a great all around everyday watch with a sapphire crystal and 100 meters of water resistance. It's powered by an ETA quartz movement that is extremely reliable. The bracelet is beautiful. You cannot go wrong. The next watch on this list is a brand, again, that you really cannot leave off of a list of best watches under $300. It is San Martin. San Martin make their own designs and they make a lot of homages. They really started out making homages and now they're making their own designs as well. These are really high quality watches considering the price on a lot of their models. You can get an automatic dive watch that looks really good for under $300. For around $300, you can get a GMT from them. Again, automatic, powered by a Seiko movement. There's tons of watches to choose from, from their lineup of watches, but they are all affordable and really well made. A lot of them even have on-the-fly micro-adjust at that price, which is incredible considering there are brands out there that charge thousands of dollars and don't offer on-the-fly micro-adjust. I don't know what they're doing. Another brand that I haven't talked about on my channel in a while, and I was actually at the Wind Up Watch Fair recently, and one of their watches caught my eye, and I could not believe that this was under $300. It's a solar-powered dive watch, and I love a solar-powered watch. It is there, and they're Meridian in Navy. These cost under $300 on a strap. They're an homage to an Omega 
Seamaster, a vintage version of the Omega Seamaster. It gets a case that's very similar, but the dials are pretty much their own design. The specific one that I'm talking about is the navy version with gilt tone indices and hands. This is a very rich looking dial and the watch looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. These are also powered by a solar movement. They are a Seiko Epson movement. So you're getting a very high quality movement as well. These are great looking watches at a great price. I highly recommend Vair and I highly recommend their Solar Diver. Next, we're talking about a watch that I did not like when it was first released for one reason and one reason only, but I ended up warming up to this watch over time. It is the 5KX, the Dress KX, the SKX replacement. So a lot of people did not like this watch when it first came out because it didn't get a screwed in crown. It didn't get 200 meters of water resistance. It wasn't an ISO certified dive watch. However, it looked like an SKX. And I really love the SKX. I still think that's one of the best alternative dive watches to expensive dive watches that you can buy that's good looking and really well made. However, when they came out with this watch, I wasn't too infatuated. Now I am getting the appeal of these watches. They're moddable. You get 100 meters of water resistance. They're automatic. You get to see the movement and they look like a dive style watch. They're good looking, functional watches that if you're going diving, you probably wouldn't reach for. You could definitely go swimming with these and do a lot of activities. These are great everyday dive style watches. And again, you can get them under $300. Something that you can't say about the SKX anymore because they have gotten so expensive. Really great watches, just a little bit misunderstood. I even misunderstood them at one point. The next watch brand is Precidus. I've featured a number of their watches here on my channel. I actually have a dive watch that they just recently came out with that I'm going to show you guys pretty soon, but they do sell a lot of their field watches and some of their chronographs under $300 on their website. And I really am impressed with the details on these watches and the design of these watches. They're vintage inspired, so they're taking a lot of their inspiration from vintage military watches and they recreate them in a very high quality way and they offer them at really good prices. I featured a number of them on my channel and I continue to feature them because I think they make really good watches that are very well priced. And most of them, like I said, are priced under $300. I highly recommend their A11. They make them in a few different sizes and they are really great watches. Another one of those watches that if you're talking about a list of watches under $300, you would have to mention it's G-Shock. And I have a specific G-Shock that I wanna mention in this video. Of course, I think it's one of the best G-Shocks that you can buy. It's the 5600 Square. I really love the tough solar version. So the GWM 5610-1, that's a solar powered version of the G-Shock Square. You're getting all the functionality that you would expect from a G-Shock, 200 meters of water resistance, stopwatch, alarm, world timer, perpetual calendar, and a bunch of different timers. You really cannot go wrong with the G-Shock in general. I think the 5600 wears really well as well. And it's one of the most iconic watches that they offer. You can get them for around $100. They go up to you know astronomical prices for the really special versions and different materials and stuff like that. But the standard version, the 5600 or the Solar 5600 are just staples in anyone's collection. Once you get it, you'll understand. I have one. I think every collector out there should try one at least at some point. They're great watches, especially well under $300. In most cases, $150, you'll get a brand new one. Last but not least is a brand that I have mentioned on other videos when I'm speaking about the Airman. Now the Airman is a little bit over $300 if you want an automatic version with the Swiss made movement and all that stuff. But the Combat Sub from Glycine is a very affordable watch that you can get under $300 very easily. It's a Swiss powered watch and you're getting a Glycine, which is actually a pretty good watch. They make very good watches considering the prices that they actually sell for. The Combat Sub is a really great watch. There's also the Combat Classic, which is a watch that I think gets around 100 meters of water resistance, a little bit more of a dressy watch. The Combat Sub is a dive watch. It gets a diver's extension, really solid bracelets, really solid watches in general. I highly recommend them to anyone 
who is again getting into collecting or someone who's seasoned like myself who wants something that's cheap to knock around in but also very good looking the glycine combat sub somewhat of an original design i definitely recommend it for someone who's looking for a quality dive watch under 300 dollars well there you go there's my list lots more than 10 watches that i've mentioned today there are a lot more watches that i could mention i will be doing a part two of this video where I'm going to feature more micro brands as well, because I think there are a lot of micro brands offering really good quality at that $300 price point. Please tell me down in the comments below if you could think of a brand that offers really high quality at $300, some of the best watches under $300. I wanna hear from you guys, so definitely add a comment down below. That's really it guys, thank you for logging on, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.